My key presentation today was on climate change and, and, next, and, and health. So the nexus between climate change and health and why it's very important in terms of um, um, Africa. Because, um, you know, when you take climate change and health, the huge impact of it will be in Africa, you know, in terms of uh, disease burdens, in terms of um, uh, changes in temperature, in terms of uh, uh, issues around flooding, uh, nutrition issues. So my key aspect of my presentation was to see how do we rethink the nexus of climate change and health and think of health broadly from agriculture to environment to human health. So how do we connect all the three in terms of understanding the broad impact of health? Because health is not just about human health, it's about agriculture. If you impact uh, livestock, you impact nutrition. If you impact the environment, you impact uh, you know, water supply, you impact other things that also impact health. So how do we look at the connections? But also how as Africans, how do we um, begin to think about funding um, issues with regards to health, uh, with regards to research, providing the evidence that links climate change to health. How do we get financing for um, uh, some of the health initiatives, but also for R&D, research and development, and also for capacity within Africa. So there is a lot of things that are packed in what I had to say today, but I think those are very fundamental that we also begin to think about African grown solutions, home grown solutions and adaptation with regards to indigenous methods, indigenous ideas and how do we build um, resilience in communities uh, by a, a building capacity within um, communities but also in the, in, in the different countries, you know. And then funding is financing. Funding becomes important. How do we get African funding to fund some of the, the climate and health initiatives, right? And so that's very important. But also more critical to the critical also is about training the next generation of uh, young Africans building capacity in universities, in communities about the issue around climate and health and why it is very critical for our own existence. Yeah?